Right then, guys. Lambretta vlog time. I had a message in the uh, in the little comments bit. Sorry, I can't remember who, who sent it. Um, but it was uh, the gist of it was sort. You can go back and read it. It was sort of um, some guy who obviously has a series two. Shout out to you, whoever you are. Um, and he was saying like couldn't decide whether or not to finish resto uh, restoring it or sort of get rid of it as it is and like the bottom line was that it you know the the comment was sort of uh, that scooters lambrettas particularly you know they're really really um, expensive um, for what they are which basically um, is just like a little a little two-stroke motor scooter uh, and it's, uh, you know, it's a really valid comment, you know, I couldn't agree more with it. For what they are, Lambrettas must be, <laughs> like, pound for pound, the most expensive things you could possibly ride around on. Um, they are just a fortune to even start with, before you even get into any, res uh, any restoring or anything like that. They're just a fortune to buy. You, you know, you're, you're going to be chucking at least a grand at it, just to get hold of a... A scooter that you can begin to restore and it were you know it was a, a really valid comment I have to say my brother has said the same thing to me since I uh, got into scooter and I mean he's had motorbikes and stuff but never uh, never scooters he, you know they're really not his thing and he was like you can buy some that's so much better for you know like a fraction of the cost and it's true you can you can get you can get a lot, a lot of motorbike for your money these days. If, if you had a thousand quid to spend, you could get a bloody brilliant motorbike, like a couple of, you know, a few years old, but you can buy like, I don't know, I mean, I don't really know much about motorbikes, but you can get stuff like Honda Fireblades and stuff. I mean, they're a, a proper sports bike, aren't they? And stuff like that, and they're like under a grand, these things. You know, fully working, not not in need of restoring or anything like that, in need of restoration. You just sort of buy it, and it's there. So, for the money, you can go. It's like a, you know, I replied to the comment. You can go a lot faster, a lot safer, just in terms of handling and braking and the size of the wheels and the tyres and the lights and everything are all better much more reliable things you know so you can go like a lot faster a lot safer with much more reliability um, for for a lot a lot lot less than what you're gonna cost you to get a Lambretta up and running and anything like you know usable I suppose the point I'm making is despite the fact that Lambrettas are an absolute fortune to buy and maintain I don't know what it is, I mean I can't quite put my finger on it, but there's something about Lambrettas that I just, I just absolutely adore. It's just something about them, they've got this, this quality that you just don't get from anywhere else and I don't necessarily mean quality in terms of like build quality and things like that, even though mine's quite good because it's an Italian one, but I mean they just have this essence, this certain, certain je ne sais quoi shall we say that you just can't get anywhere else. It's just Lambretta is absolute standalone motor scooter. They are the, as the uh, old advert used to say, it used to say the world's finest motor scooter. And for me, they are. I suppose one of the things I really love about Lambrettas, um, other than the obvious stuff that they're just, you know, little classic vehicles, vintage vehicles, which are always nice to own and you know, to, to be a part of and, and look after. Um, and the fact that they're rare and stuff like that, not everyone's got one. Although there are a lot about, a lot more than you think, but you don't see them day to day. And I like that about them, it's a, you know, it's a little bit special. But for me, one of the big things about them is it's making them go faster than they were ever really designed to, to go. And I know that's a bit like, you're like pushing the boundaries all the time. I mean, these, the wheels and everything, they were never sort of designed to go as fast as what, what we like to make them go these days. And the suspension and all that, it, they're not really for for racing around on and riding like they're a GP bike, because they're just not a GP bike. They're a, they're a little motor scooter. 
But I think I think that's it for me. It's it's getting something that's really vintage, really classic, and not only just maintaining it and keeping it going. It's it's trying to uh, to improve on it, and trying to to push it for everything you can get out of it. Like you know, like you do with the majority of two-stroke engines. I imagine it's been a classic pursuit of of men for for many years to to tune an engine and to make an engine perform better than it ever was supposed to do and it's just something about it makes it special I, I like the idea that people sort of see the scooter and see you riding it and think oh look at that like, like a lovely classic old vintage motor scooter and then being able to just wind it on just make loads of noise and just boot it off into distance and I imagine I, I like to imagine anyway that it sort of surprises people with the the power and stuff and the performance that you can get you know I, I really like that about it the idea that you're sort of raising a few eyebrows on it and people are going uh, you can just imagine them going bloody hell you know what engines you got in that because it's just so much quicker than the uh, than people are used to seeing it's it's that for me you know it's as though they're uh, they're like a wolf in sheep's clothing if you will you know the they look sweet and innocent little motor scooters, but in reality, there's a lot more, a lot more going on under the uh, under the side panels than uh, than people realise, which uh, which I like. So that was it, really. That's what I wanted to say and wanted to sort of put out for discussion. So you know, I'd be interested to hear your uh, opinions and you know comments on that so I'm uh, just gonna leave it at that for now thanks for watching as usual feel free to leave a comment if you have any give it a thumbs up if you feel that way inclined and if you don't have a nice day